हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दीडियो किल्ड वैक्सीन एज द नेम इंडिकेट किल्ड सो दे कंटेन द किल्ड फॉर्म और इनएक्टिवेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ द पैथोजन सो एज द पैथोजन इज इन द इनएक्टिवेटेड स्टेट सो इन इट विल नॉट बी एबल टू कोज द डिजीज इन साइड द होस्ट बट host body will recognize this inactivated pathogen as a foreign particle so the host body will generate the immune response will make the antibodies which will serve as the memory antibodies also so in that proper way the host will develop immunity against these killed vaccines how we can make the killed vaccine so we generally kill the pathogen by various ways like first here mention is chemical method so we can treat the pathogen with certain chemicals like formalin chloroform phenol which ultimately inactivate or kill the pathogen secondly we can also use some physical method like by uv rays we can also inactivate the pathogens and we can also give heat treatment which known as the heat killing so generally we treat the pathogen with heat and heat ultimately denature the proteins oxidize the lipids and destroy the antigenic site which are present on the pathogen so by these ways like chemical physical and this heat mechanism we can killed or inactivate the pathogen which can be used for the vaccines now the advantages of the killed vaccine so first as these are more safer because as you can clearly see we are using the killed pathogen means there is no chance of developing the disease inside the host so they are more safer and stable second they are cheaper than live attenuated vaccine because they can we can easily inactivate the vaccine so they are cheaper and their storage it is not very much critical means they do not require refrigeration we can store them as it is so these are the advantages disadvantages again as we are saying we are using the killed pathogen so as the pathogen is killed or inactivated so definitely it will not give a strong immune response it will only develop a weak immune response because it was in killed form so this is the main disadvantage of killed vaccines that they develop only a weaker immune response or in simple words they give very less immunity and these killed vaccines they only develop humoral immunity means immunity which is due to the body fluids so they just only provide humoral immunity not the cellular immunity or cell mediated immunity as i told under the properties of an idle vaccine that an idle vaccine should induce both humoral as well as cellular immunity but these killed vaccines they are just inducing the humoral immunity so this is also the disadvantage of the killed vaccines now second type of vaccines are live attenuated vaccines here live attenuated means the pathogen is alive but that pathogen is not able to cause the disease because the pathogen has been attenuated so simply you can say these vaccine they contain the weaker version of the living pathogen now how we can attenuate the uh, this pathogen so for attenuation generally we force the antigen or pathogen to grow under the abnormal condition or you can say in the culture by giving the abnormal conditions so after few you can say after few years that pathogen is now able to grow under the abnormal condition but is not able to grow under the normal conditions inside the host so what it means that after attenuation as we culture the pathogen under abnormal conditions so after some time the pathogen will not grow inside the host under the normal condition because it is now habitual to the abnormal conditions so by this uh, way we can create the attenuated vaccines and advantages so advantages include that they are very effective because here they are containing the live version of the pathogen 
so they are very effective generally effective in the single dose and they induce both cellular as well as humoral immune response their response long lasting also means they provide the long very long lasting immunity and since they can multiply inside the host so their low dose means the low dose of these live adenoid vaccines is also sufficient for boosting the immunity disadvantages they include so as we are saying we are using the live but attenuated pathogen but there are possibilities or chances that sometime this attenuated live pathogen can be converted or changed into the activated live pathogens and can cause the disease so this is the main disadvantage of live adenoid vaccines that the pathogen can revert back to disease causing state and can cause the disease next these and uh, vaccines they cannot be given to the people with weak immune response because as we are using the live this live pathogen so it may cause some side effects or disease to the person which have already have the weak immune system next the refrigeration is required for their uh, storage so this is also a disadvantage of their these live adenoid vaccines so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much